If cos of 18 is equal to z, determine the following in terms of z. Okay, so cos of 18 is equal to z. Let's just quickly look at that first. Cos of 18 equal to z. Now remember that cos of 18 or cos of any angle is actually adjacent over hypotenuse. So if it's equal to z, it's actually equal to z over 1, which means my adjacent side is equal to z and my hypotenuse is equal to 1. So let's first draw a sketch just to uh, that we can use for our future question. And in this sketch we know that that is 18 that's our, and our adjacent side is then z and our hypotenuse is equal to 1 and what will the opposite side's length be? Well, we know that um, our hypotenuse squared, this is Pythagoras, is equal to my adjacent squared plus my opposite squared. So we want opposite squared is equal to hypotenuse squared minus adjacent squared. Which means it's 1 squared is 1 minus adjacent squared is z squared so if I want my opposite side it is simply opposite is now the square root of the other, other side should it be plus minus okay, remember we put it plus minus in front 1 minus z squared but the thing is we are working with 18 so we know that in 18 if we were to draw our Cartesian plane in 18 the Adjacent is the y-axis, sorry, the x-axis, and the uh, opposite is the y-axis, and we are going into the positive direction of the y-axis, which means that it's not going to be negative. So it's just going to the opposite is going to be the positive 1 minus z squared. There we go. So let's go and answer our first question. Our first question asks us to write our question cos of 198 so cos of 198 is not in terms of 18 so we're first going to have to write it in terms of 18 now, there's two ways of doing it okay we can say cos of 180 plus 18 that will give me 198 and you can see I haven't changed anything so far. I've just written 198 in a different way as 180 plus 18. So I've not changed anything yet. And then where will this sketch be or the triangle? Where will that triangle be? Well, if I were to draw my axes, that one will be starting here that's 180 degrees plus another 18 degrees so there we go plus another 18 degrees it will go off there so that will be my triangle now you'll notice that this triangle is exactly the same as that one I just drew it a little bit smaller it's just this one has been rotated around. Okay, So it's still the same triangle, just rotated. And the only difference is now we notice that the y-axis is pointing downwards. So this one, um, and actually the x-axis is in the opposite direction as well. Okay, So the x is negative, so this is now negative z. And this one is negative square root of 1 minus z squared sorry minus z squared this is still positive one and the hypotenuse will never be negative so it did change so we do notice that this one will now be the same as cos of 18 but this time it will have a negative in front so another way of thinking about it is to look at the cost diagram we know that cos is positive in the fourth quadrant all of them are positive in the first quadrant sine is positive in the second quadrant 
and tan is positive in this quadrant. And since we have that this is cos, cos is not positive, only tan is positive in the third quadrant, we must take it as negative cos of 18. And negative cos of 18 is simply negative z. So let's answer the question. Cos of 180 is equal to, let's see, oh, well, we know it should be negative cos of 18. So we are answering with this step. And now in terms of z, because that's what the answer asks us, determine or the question asks us, determine to the following in terms of z. In terms of z, our answer is now negative z.